Hey there, I'm Dan Nadelko, founder of Honeypot Marketing. Uh, I was working on Marketer Knows, one of our properties uh, that we own that we are launching in the next couple of months. Um, actually, we're going to do it uh, right probably after Christmas, given uh, the time of year and how much work we still have to do on it. But as I was working, I'll show you what happened. I wanted to kind of this is a quick walkthrough on how to debug and identify which WordPress plugin that you may have running uh, on your site that could be causing some serious conflicts with your um, with the functioning of your site so um, I'm working on how to build a Rockstar Instagram account I go over here and look at that the visual editor in WordPress is no longer functioning so first of all going how did that happen um, because we do try to manage our plugins very well, but updates can happen and things can conflict. In particular, jQuery can cause conflicts on the back end because of the number of uh, the number of versions of jQuery that are often bundled in with plugins and then sometimes not properly uh, coded in there. So this is the issue that I'm seeing, and I can't really do anything. Right, so. What I want to do is I want to figure out, okay, what's going on? And as you can see here, I go to my plugins list. Yes, I've got a lot of plugins. Um, there's a reason for all of it. Um, but I got to find out which one of these is causing the problem back here. And always, always, when you see these issues, like I can't toggle tabs, this is a jQuery error. <clears throat> this is going to be a jQuery problem. And this will be a problem of two conflicts um, uh, conflict between two plugins every single time. So, yeah, the question is, what do I do? Do I just wander around aimlessly in the void, trying to debug and, like, just disabling every plugin and one by one? Well, that would take a long time, and we don't really need to do that. Um, so I'm going to show you a really quick way. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click. I'm going to show you a quick way to identify which plugin it is, and, and you're going to have to be comfortable with the inspect element function right here. And as soon as I open that up, I'm going to get, well, it's a lot more convenient right now because my console was open. But what you're going to want to do is make sure that your console is open. I already had it open down here. If you don't see this, which you probably won't because that's my little setup, you go right here. <laughs> Just click on the console. Here we go. I look at this and I see uncaught reference error. Wildcard shortcode modal is not defined. That looks good. It cannot read property body of undefined. That is definitely an issue. And I look at it and I see it's affecting the errors being thrown in post.php. Now, whether I'm a huge, you know, WordPress aficionado or relatively new to it, post.php is the file that controls you being able to write anything in the post area right here. So this is definitely the source. Whether or not you are a developer, and trust me, you do not need to be a developer. In fact, you only need to know how to click and look at a couple of things to be able to do this. What you're going to want to do is click on this right here. And now I'm going to see, and I can make this a little bit bigger here. I can see that I've got, oh, where, what is going on here? Wish list ID sh card short codes. So it's identifying for me right in there that this is throwing an uncaught type error. What's going to happen in WordPress when that, when you see that things have crashed? Like, this is actually a crash in WordPress, what you're seeing right here. So it's, um, it's uh, like, app, your phone can crash, your computer can crash, your laptop can crash. Um, be very certain that your browser and your WordPress can, in fact, crash, because it can. But I'm seeing that the uncaught type error, right, right here, is coming from wishlist ID shortcodes. Okay, close that. I jump back to my plugin screen. I'm going to scroll down here. I don't really need an ID card for logged in users. I don't know why we added that, but I thought it would be a nice feature. But it's certainly not a nice feature if it is causing everything else to crash. So we'll just wait for that to deactivate. Now, once I know that's done, let's watch magic happen. Um, this can save you a ton of time and a ton of frustration and, and, you know, I mean, literally, if you were hunting and pecking and trying to figure out which one by disabling all of 
potentially 50 or 60 plugins, depending on how complex your site is, um, this can save you a substantial amount of time. Okay, now we go over to course description. Oh, that's looking better already. Let this guy load up. Et voila, I'm back. So I have now solved my problem of how to identify very quickly um, a crashed WordPress plugin on your uh, on your WordPress admin area. So I hope that helped and I hope you found that useful.